Welcome back to reviewing for your semester one final exam in Algebra 1. Uh, we're looking at problem 35, and this 35 is talking about an exercise program, and there's actually a lot packed into this problem. So hang on, it's going to be a bit of a wild ride. First thing we're going to do is just look at the problem and ignore the answers. So exercise program begins in the first week, so I'm going to say in week one, right, we have 30 minutes of exercise. Each week, the daily exercise is increased by 5 minutes, so we know that in week 2, we're now up to 35 minutes, and I hope we can continue the pattern. In week 3, we are up to 40 minutes, and so on and so forth. So if you wanted to describe this to a friend, you would say that, well, each week, our amount of exercise we're doing is increasing by 5 minutes. And when we talk about how those values are changing, that's most commonly known as our slope. Our slope measures the rate of change. Our slope is, you know, the steepness or the rate of change of this activity. So in this case, 5 is going to be the slope. And we'll keep that straight and come back to it later. And now we're going to have to go through and check out all of our answer choices. And there's a lot going on. And I'm just going to go um, with the ones that look like each other. And we'll start with problems G, I, L, and K. All four of those are somewhat common to each other, and then we'll talk about F, H, and L at the end. So each of these look like they are somewhat in slope-intercept form. And with slope-intercept form, we usually write the one with the variable first. So I'm going to do 30n plus 5. Same thing here, 5n plus 25. And then we can take a peek at each of them. Um, they are very, very similar to each other, and in fact, this 5n plus 25, j and k are the same problem. It doesn't matter that there's something different out front, a sub n versus f of n. It's all about the equation. So let's see if we can figure out which ones of these match. We know that when we substitute in the number 1, our answer better be 30. When we substitute in 2, our answer better be 35. We also know that our slope is 5. So let's use maybe the slope first and then go back to that plug-in. So, right here, we see our slope is 5, that's good. Here our slope is 30, that's out. J our slope is 5, and K our slope is 5. So now it comes down to, if we plug in 1, do we get an answer of 30? So if I plug in 1, that becomes 5 plus 30, we get 35. And that's not good, because we know in this problem, when we plug in 1, we better get 30. In the first week, we did 30 minutes. Here, this is saying in the first week, we did 35. That doesn't match our information. So G is out as well. Moving on through, we have J and K. Let's do that same test. If I plug in 1, do I get 30? Well, I get 5 plus 25, which I think is 30. That's good, yeah. If I plug in 2, do I get 35? That's our next one. Let's see. So. We end up getting 10 plus 25. That is 35. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks like this is matching perfectly. And because J and K are the same, then we know those two are answers. Now we have F, H, and L to narrow down. And who knows, maybe they all work. F, H, and L are all written in that recursive format. And we did recursive formulas in our topic three. But just a quick reminder, our recursive formula has a bunch of pieces to it. But it's usually something like this. It's usually saying, if you want to find some term, we usually call it the current term. If we want to find a current value, it's going to be equal to the previous value, a value we knew before, plus something plus a number. And it turns out that this number actually ends up being the slope, but we'll look at that a little bit further. And then there's going to be something at the end that says, this is only allowed to be used for certain values of n. So only use this where n is probably going to be our number of weeks sort of thing. This is going to say only use it for some weeks. So let's take a look at each one. Here's f. f looks like this. If I were to write out f in a recursive format, I'd probably do this. I'd say f of 1 is 30. And then f of n is equal to 5 times f of n minus 1. And this equation down here is only good for n greater than or equal to 2. So let's break this down. f of 1 equals 30. To me, that means in the first week, 
we did 30 minutes of exercise. That's good. That makes sense. That's right. Then it says, to find the current amount of exercise you're doing, take 5 and multiply it by the week before. And that seems somewhat right, because we did go up by 5 every time, but let's try one of these. Let's try, it says we can use this for n greater than or equal to 2. Let's try our smallest one. Let's try n equal to 2. So when n is 2, let's see what our equation becomes. It becomes f of 2 equals 5 times f of 2 minus 1. I just replaced the n's in here with 2. So f of 2 equals 5 times f of 1. So f of 2, how do we do 5 times f of 1? Well, f of 1, oh, we know that. That's 30. That's up here, right? So f of 1 is 30, and we end up with 150. So what is this telling us? It says in the second week, we did 150 minutes of exercise. Is that what we did in the second week? I don't think so. We're not multiplying our exercise by 5 every time. So I think F is going to be out. And now we're down to H and L. But I think by looking at H and L, they're actually going to be the same thing. I'm going to write them side by side, and then I'll show you how they're the same thing. Um, so they look something like this. So we have H, which they again gave us F of 1 is 30, which is good. And then they told us that F of N is equal to f of n minus 1 plus 5, and that's only good for n greater than or equal to 2. Just making sure that matches. That looks pretty good. Oh, sorry, this is L, though. Then, if we wanted to look at h, h is very, very similar, and I'm going to rearrange it slightly. They tell us that a sub 1 is 30, and they say to find a sub n, you need to do a sub n minus 1 plus 5. This minus 1 should be down here. Now, these are actually saying the exact same thing. And I think that this problem should probably say n greater than or equal to 2 as well. They maybe just got sloppy when they were writing it. But that's okay. So, looking at these, they're saying the same thing. In the first week, we did 30 minutes of exercise. In the first week, we did 30. It says to find the amount of exercise we did, take the amount we did last week and add 5 to it. To find the amount of exercise we're doing this week, take the amount we did last week and add 5. Same thing. So if one of these works, the other one works. And I'll just work with, uh, let's do the orange one, the H, because we haven't done much with that yet. So let's again try this for 2. So if I want to see n equal to 2, then this is going to find me the amount of exercise that we did in the second week, a sub 2. And that's going to be a sub 2 minus 1 plus 5. So continuing through, a sub 2 minus 1, well 2 minus 1 is 1, and then we have that plus 5. a sub 1 plus 5, oh we know a sub 1, that's 30, it's all the way up here. So we end up with 30 plus 5, and a sub 2 ends up being 35. And does that match? In our second week, do we do 35 minutes of exercise? We did, and we got that here. So this plus 5 in our recursive is just like our slope. It's like we're adding 5 every week, which is exactly what we did up here. So it turns out that H and L also, also both work, and you should be set.